Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be working on painting the camper again, the kitchen and my bedroom and the living room area. I'm going to finish the kids room and the bathroom. So I just need to finish painting this area because I really want to take the camper out on my birthday weekend. It is May 23rd right now. Um, my daughter is camping with some friends on the river. We took her there last night and we didn't want to stay in a tent with the baby because it's really hot during the day and kind of still chilly at night. But I think he'll do well in the camper so I really want to take it out in like two weeks and I'm hoping to have it finished by then. So we're going to really try to put a big dent in it today. So if you want to see that then just keep watching. Alright so I did get one of the bathroom doors in from Camping World um, while we were at the beach but I'm still missing one. Excuse the bunk room. I've been storing all of my decor and things that I need in here in the bunk room because it's the most complete room. And then I worked on the bathroom. And now I'm going to work on the kitchen. Um, I just have some stuff around. I've been trying to pick up in here. I got the cushions out. Um, it was actually the first time I saw, the first time I actually looked at the storage under the dinette chairs um, or the booth the dinette booth chair things um, so there's a good bit of storage under there too so that'll be nice and like I said this folds out into a bed but I want to um, recover the cushions with some cuter fabric and I have to get some more fabric to cover that jackknife sofa but I'm just gonna work on um, I have to wipe down everything and then I have to use the deglosser on everything I need to sand all of the wood vinyl in here i've got to peel off this um border which is going to be a pain in the butt i can only imagine hopefully it'll come off easy but we'll see take down these ugly things here window treatments or whatever we're going to paint all that white i'm painting the kitchen this um robin's egg blue and everything else is going to be white and then I need to get this mattress out of my room so I can paint in there as well. Um, but yeah, so that's what I'm going to be working on today. Let's see if we can get some of it done. And then I have these honeycomb tiles um, that I wanted to do in the kitchen. But that's probably going to be the very last thing that I do. Um, and I also really want to paint the outside of the camper. But I don't know if I'm going to have time to do that before we take it camping the first time. But... I do plan to do that in the near future. I want to do like a like this shade of green on the bottom and then white on the top. Just like a stripe down the bottom of this color and then white on top. So I'm really excited about that and it's already looking a way better. I know this is not everyone else's style, but I want it to be different. Everybody's doing like neutrals and that's great and cute. But I really just wanted to have fun with this camper and do something that you don't typically see. So all right, so I have a big problem. This border is not budging at all. It's like 30 years old. It's not moving. It's crazy. I tried and tried and it's just not coming. I used, I used this to try to like, <clears throat> chisel it and it's just like it's really not going anywhere so I think I'm just gonna break some rules and paint over it and call it a day because I'm not it's too hot today to be dealing with all that and it's literally all the way around this area except the dinette and yeah it's just not coming off so I'm just gonna paint over it I really don't care at this point so I guess next I'm just gonna try to pull these get these guys off because they're hideous and um, start deglossing everything.
I deglossed and sanded and then I went inside and I cooked some spaghetti and watched a show with my husband <laughs> and now I'm back out here to get back to it or get started yeah it was super hot earlier and we were trying to run the air conditioner in here but I had all the windows open because I needed ventilation for the paint and it kept tripping the breaker so I just waited till the sun went down because it was so hot today in Georgia and it's still pretty warm but at least the sun's behind the cloud now and it's on its way down so I'm just gonna be out here painting at night it looks like from now on because it's no longer like early spring it's like beginning of summer it's getting real hot in Georgia so I should have gotten this done already but we did go on vacation last week and the week before that I was cleaning and packing and prepared for vacation so I've really been putting this off and every time I would come out here and paint, I would get like a really bad headache because I was wearing a mask, but I still think the fumes were like getting to me. Um, so yeah, make sure you have good ventilation. I've had the windows open and everything, but I get headaches really easily, so that, that's another reason I've been avoiding doing this. <laughs> so I'm hoping I don't get another migraine today from doing this, but it needs to be finished. I have two rooms left and we'll be done, and then I can paint the outside, so... I'm going to try to knock it out this weekend. Alright. So Wes did go to Lowe's this morning and get me some new paint brushes and a roller. So I'm going to try doing it with a roller this time. I got this ultra smooth um, 4 inch roller. All paints and waterborne coatings. Ultra smooth surfaces. A lightly dampened roller with appropriate medium prior to use. Water or latex paint thinner. Load roller thoroughly, but don't overload. All right. Ooh, this is really soft. I haven't used one like this before, so I hope I like it. All right. I did not tape anything off yet. I'm just going to work on the walls by the dinette first.
it's hot. 